All right, y'all, so it is no secret that I have a lot of clothes and I get them from a lot of different places and I always get questions on where I get my shit at. So today I'm gonna do a little try on of literally every single thing that I own in my wardrobe right now. This video is in partnership with Poshmark and I love Poshmark. I could honestly say that's where I grew my love of clothes. Like it all started on Poshmark before Depop was even a thing. So I used to shop all the time on Poshmark, looking up brand shit, all the brand names. I got a lot of my Juicy Couture tracksuits on Poshmark, so Poshmark is still on and popping. I just want to show y'all a couple things I'm going to be posting on there. First thing is this FUBU jersey, and it is like vintage condition, so it has some wear, but it's still cute. Either way, this is what it looks like. I have these Fashion Nova, uh, what are they called, joggers. And they are this green. They literally, look, they have the tags on them still. So they're going straight to my Poshmark. Me and this hoodie have been through it. Like, this has been my favorite hoodie for so long. But it's time to let it go. I did crop it. It's like super cropped. So this is for all my short gals. Or you could also put this just like over a tank or something and it's still wearable. But I did crop it a lot, as y'all can see. And it has these like flags along the side. It's a high wind hoodie. I literally paid over $100 for it and I am posting it on my Poshmark to give it a new home. Also, I have this hoodie. Literally brand new. I just impulse buy things and then I regret it after. But yeah, I have this hoodie from Forever 21 and it is a Dragon Ball Z hoodie. It's perfect for the spring because it's nice and light. Okay, last thing I have is this jacket right here and I've been debating selling this for so long but I never wear it like every winter passes by and I still haven't worn it so it has like a Burberry like print but it's actually from Express I copped it at a thrift like a minute ago it was pretty expensive I got it for like $50 at the thrift but it's because it's like in such good condition and it's somewhat of a designer brand all right so all these items will be posted in my poshmark closet so click the link in my description to start your own closet and without further ado let's get into this video because it's gonna be hella long so i'm gonna be showing y'all every single piece of clothing that i own in my wardrobe so let's get into it guys so i do have a lot of tops i tend to go more for crop tops and fitted tops because i am a short girl and i feel like they're just the most flattering on my body i do also go towards graphic tops a lot of the time i just think they're cute and they make an outfit pop and they're not so plain and boring you know what i mean so my tops tend to range from either like sports bras or tops that I probably cropped way too short or little kid shirts that I got in the kid section at the thrift store that I just wear as crops so <laughs> got a little bit of variety here I'm definitely more of a cozy girl when it comes to my tops like I don't wear blouses or anything of that sort it's usually just straight up t-shirts but that's what I like so that's what I walk with As far as brands go, I usually try to stay away from brand names unless I really do fuck with the print on them. Mostly because I'm a broke bitch, but <laughs> um, I do have a couple brands in my collection. I have a whole lot of Ed Hardy. I have some Bape Tees, some Cause X Uniqlo. Most of my shit is just straight up from the thrift or Forever 21. So every once in a while I will splurge on brands, but that's rare. I do love an oversized tee. I got a couple of them in my collection. I like to wear them as dresses or sometimes tie them up with some biker shorts in the summertime or just tuck them into some high waist jeans. Like they're really so versatile and so comfy, especially when you're having, you know, them fat days, you ate too much or you're going out on a date and you don't want him to see your flabs. You know, girl, we all know.
we go on into skirts now yay i love me a good mini skirt i think they're so cute you can make so many looks with them um i am filming this in the winter so you know i got my winter weight on so all these skirts are literally like skin tight on me but don't mind that they're also so easy to style you could do monochrome or color blocking or just a whole lot of shit so i love a good mini skirt This one right here is my favorite, actually, this Ed Hardy one. It's super duper tiny, but the pockets are hella cute on them. Um... These right here are some left-hand LA jeans that I just cut into some Bermuda shorts. And yeah, I like shorts, not as much as I like skirts, but definitely a good biker short is my favorite for the summertime because they're extra cozy and they show off the gains when you've been hitting the gym, which I have not. So, <laughs> I also have a few matching sets for the summertime, and bro, let me tell you, these are the fucking best, because you already have an outfit pre-selected. You don't even have to think about, oh, how should I style this, or what am I going to wear this with? Girl, it's all set up for you. That's why I love them. You just grab them and go. You already know. All right now we are entering the hoodies and hoodies are another major staple in my wardrobe i wear them literally all year long i wear them in the summertime i don't give a fuck as you can see i crop them hella short <laughs> so honestly it's good for the summertime too them chilly summer nights i find hoodies mostly in the thrift but occasionally i will cop some off depop like these right here Got my few ice cream hoodies and the different colors. You know, I had to get all the flavors. But yeah, these are hella cozy and I wear mine oversized. Look at the raw prints on the back. But then I got this Cause X Uniqlo hoodie and I'm literally wearing that right now as I speak. <laughs> my Ed Hardy fuzzy hoodie another favorite of mine my trusted vape hoodie that i copped in the city pants oh my god pants y'all be sleeping on how important pants are to a fit like just imagine wearing a flyer ass shirt and then just some boring ass jeans with some plain ass sneakers like boo y'all need some popping jeans to take your fits to the next level i got these right here customized by my friend and they were just plain forever 21 jeans i got these kind of metallic -y, latex -y, i don't know but once again my jeans fit me dumb tight because i'm so chunky right now y'all don't mind me i'll get back in the gym soon i promise <laughs> But yeah, my thrift low-key blesses me with all these true religion jeans. I always seem to find true at my thrift store, which just be blessing me because I love them. I'm such a fan of true religion jeans. They make the booty look so poppin'. I'm also a big fan of flare jeans. Like, I just can't stand a skinny jean because the way my legs are set up, it's not cute. It's not a look for me, so baggy is always better. And you gotta have your staple mom jeans, let's be real. And I got these util util oh my god, how do you say it? Utilitarian pants from Fashion Nova. And these are like my all-time favorite. Cargo's major staple in Steph's wardrobe. And you know you gotta get the flavors. You gotta get pants in every single color for every single fit. I also have this like really weird habit of buying pants that are way too big for me and trying to make them fashion. Like these are literally like a triple XL in men's, but I fuck with a baggy pant. I think it's cute and it's good for booty shaking at the club. So I rock with them. I also have this pair. 
boom copped these recently actually but i love the print on them so i could not pass them up so life hack just belt them up real quick cuff them at the bottom boom you were able to wear them out make that booty look popping and it makes your waist look really small too when you have a baggy pant guys If I had to pick a favorite category, it'd be this. Motherfucking track suits. Hell yeah. Oh my god, the coziest thing. And you're able to be lazy as fuck and wear sweatpants and still look cute and put together. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I wish I had more of these. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8. I don't know. I got a, quite a few. As you can see, I love them to death. And I literally wear them all the fucking time. I feel like tracksuits especially bring out that like really old school vibe. Like this one is actually two separate pieces that just so happen to coordinate with each other. And this one I was blessed with at the thrift. People tell me all the time to sell this and I refuse because I love it. My baby fat tracksuit. Mm -mm -mm. You can never go wrong with a juicy tracksuit. They always make the booty look popping. It gives you baby mama looks. You know, that's what we want. And you can always get them for the low at TJ Maxx, guys. Don't sleep. I got these few random pieces that don't really belong to a category, like this like cat suit looking thing. And then this random, I don't know, puffer vest. I don't even know what you call these, but I'm gonna just throw them in here cause why not? Okay, now we're going into jackets. And I used to have quite the leather jacket collection back in my Tumblr days. I was able to narrow it down to just these two black leather jackets, which I love. And then this faux leather pink fuchsia jacket from Forever 21. I love a good light spring slash fall jacket, but here in New York, we got two seasons and it's brick or scorching. So I feel like I rarely get the chance to break these out. I also got these fuzzy little babies because I love feeling like a giant teddy bear and I want people to come up and freaking snuggle me out in public, but I got in pink and in red. And then I realized this jacket doesn't have motherfucking pockets. Like what kind of jacket doesn't got pockets? Come on now. Even though I said it, it gets super brick in New York, I'm not much of a like jacket person. Like I honestly don't go out in winter. All right, y'all, that video was fucking exhausting. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Don't forget to hit the link in my description to start your own Poshmark closet. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.